friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're going to be sewing up the Be Brilliant swimsuit. Um, this is our super cute swimsuit. It's like a halter style swimsuit with shorties, um, and I'm super excited about it. It's super quick, super simple, super cute, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our straps, and we're going to do so by folding them right sides together and sewing that long straight edge. Uh, together right sides together and then flipping it around and that will be our strap we're then going to move on to our bodies let's just do the strap first and then we can move on to the next step I'll show you all right I'm using one of these little turning tools you can use anything you want to turn those straps right side out All right, once they've turned around, one of the ends, I'm just going to go ahead and knot off. So this will be the end, and I'll just trim that knot, that uh, little piece at the end of the knot, after, after the knot, trim that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our bodice. So here's my bodice, and I'm gonna put it face up. I'm gonna grab where the raw edge, not where I put the knot, I'm gonna put it right at where the shoulder is that shoulder piece and I like to leave it overhang of like a quarter inch that way when I go to sew it, it doesn't eat it up and then I'm gonna put my line it right side on top of it so I'm matching them right sides together now I'm going to be sewing this top area of my bodice all the way around um, you can do a, a stretch stitch on your sewing machine you can do your serger with the serger, it's kind of hard to get those really sharp lines, but I've done it with my serger before and it's just fine. Um, you can do a, a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. I am actually going to be using some stretch thread. So I'm going to be going all the way around. So we're gonna go, up. first of all, if you wanna baste those uh, straps on first so they don't move on you when you're sewing them. What I like to do sometimes is I like to grab a pin if I'm too lazy to um, baste, which I usually am and just pin it there right underneath it. So that way, when you're sewing, they don't move on you. It's not 100%. Basting is it's much safer. Um, and so then we're gonna go and stitch all the way around that neckline. And then we're gonna do the same for the back. We're gonna find our back, our front, and we're gonna put our back lining on top and we're gonna sew the top line. So the top, I gotta make sure I, you know, sometimes if you have a non-directional pattern, it doesn't really matter which way you go, but because this fabric is direct directional, I have to make sure I sew the actual top, not the bottom, because then it'll be upside down. So let's sew that, let's sew the neckline. Um, you know what, maybe we should go ahead and grab our bottoms and sew those up too. Let's just go one step at a time, let's sew these up. Make sure you don't catch those straps anywhere else where they don't need to be caught. Alrighty, so now once that's done, make sure you trim your uh, extras and your corners. You want them, you don't wanna cut the, the thread, but you wanna trim it so it's not so bulky. You wanna do a little trimming right here in the curved area and then any curve area that you find that you think you're gonna have bulk on. And then you can go ahead and turn it right side out. That's it. This is gonna be super cute. I am super excited. And we're gonna grab our back liner and open it up. And our liner is a little bit shorter than our outer. I mean, our back is a little bit shorter than our front. Um, that's intentional. We're gonna sew, match up those right sides together and sew those sides together. So like on the other side, make sure your straps are not in the way. On the other side, you're you know gonna pull this so it's gonna be tighter in the back. Now, while we're over there, I'm going to go ahead and bring my skirt 
See how it's a little bit wider than my bodice? I'm gonna put in a gathering stitch so it gathers it a little bit um, so that it is the width of my bodice. I kind of should have thought about the pineapples being the wrong way. Oh well, I didn't even think it when I was cutting it, but that's okay, sideways pineapples, they're still just as good. To gather the skirt, I'm gonna make my stitch length wider and just do a basting stitch on. And you know what, I'm gonna change my bobbin because this is my stretch thread. I'm just gonna use a regular bobbin thread, that way it doesn't, it can help me gather. And then we're going to make sure we have a tail. Put my back thread out. Come on. All right, and I'm gonna gather that. I mean, put a straight, long straight stitch on that. All right, we're gonna turn our bodice right side out. And we can um, go ahead and um, quarter our bodice if we want to, because we're going to attach our skirt to our bodice next. I have all these threads at the end that I can cut off because I'm going to catch them when I sew them together. So I'm gonna grab and match and find my back. And then I'll find my front. And that's where I, and I'll do the same to my skirt. And then that way once I gather, I know exactly where I'm going for the front and the back. All right. So it doesn't need to gather a whole lot. I just wanna gather it enough that it it's the same width. So then make sure that all your gathers are pretty even once you do that. All right, that looks like a good width. I'm gonna tie my two ends of my gathers. That way they don't come ungathered. And then after I tie them, I'm gonna even out my gathers. Make a little knot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and even out these gathers. Sometimes the less amount of gathers, the more difficult it is to get them evened out because the more gathers, the less noticeable it is. But if you have less gathers, you don't want it to be like too tight on one side and not tight enough on the other. This looks good. I'm gonna flip my bodice right over and match up my quarters, my points that I marked right sides together. And this part, this sewing on part, I am going to do on my um, serger because I don't, I, like it, it's fine to do the stuff that's inside with my sewing machine, but I really want a nice um, finished edge on the part that is gonna be against the body or the part that's gonna be out. So I wanna go ahead and use my serger but you can still use your sewing machine if that's what you would like to do, that's fine. One thing I love about swim is that you can leave the edge raw because it's not going to unravel. So that's what we're doing with our, our edges, or our hems. We're just leaving them raw. But if you want to, you can definitely, most definitely um, go ahead and hem them if you would like to do that. I don't, I like it raw better than hemmed, actually. So I'm gonna leave it raw. But some people I know like the look of the hem better. It looks, I feel like it looks more professional. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that. While we're at it, while we're sewing that in, we're gonna go ahead and make um, work on our shorties. I'm gonna put them right sides together, put that crotch right sides together right there and sew it. And then once that crotch is sewn, I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna turn it right side out and fit it into the other one and sew the crotch seam. I'll show you when we're over there, but I just wanted to tell you that because I'll do it all while I'm over by the serger. 
and make sure these ties are inside so you don't run over them. All right, like I said, I'm gonna grab one, I'm gonna turn it right side out, and I'm gonna fit it right into my other one and match this crotch right here and then go right sides together and start at the one end of the crotch and go all the way around, down and then around. So that when you open it, you basically got your shorties. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this elastic and I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and sew a zigzag stitch on there real quick. All right, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and quarter it. Here's the front, here's the, I mean the back, here's the front, and then the sides, one side, another side. And then I'm gonna grab my shorties and I will hem them. Um, you can either hem them or you can either attach um, elastic as well like we're gonna do at the top. Um, it's up to you, but I'm gonna hem them at a half an inch seam allowance. So I'll go over to my sewing machine later and hem them or leave them raw, it really doesn't matter. Um, well, probably hem them now because I cut off the serger tail. If you didn't wanna hem them, you can trim off the serger tail. I mean, you could tuck in the serger tail. Ah. You all are like, what are you saying? All right, so here's my sides. Mark the sides. And I'm gonna grab my back and put it, the higher rise is the back, so I'm gonna put my back to my back. The only reason why that matters is because here's my um, seam in the back where I uh, sewed it, and if it's in the back, then you can't see it, so that's the only reason why I put it in the back. Then we're going to match those quarters and we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and zigzag stitch it on or do a straight stitch on. And then we're gonna fold it over and top stitch it. All right, so now once that zigzag stitch done, we're gonna fold it down and top stitch it. I'm gonna go over to my um, cover stitch and top stitch that. All right, my friends, how quick and cute was that? Now, all we gotta do is, I do have to take that basting stitch off, that's all the threads that you see, but other than that, we are done. Look at how cute this suit is. Turned out super adorable. I can't wait to um, try this on my little niece. I think she's gonna love it. I'm gonna pull that basting stitch out, but we are done. Like I said, if you wanna go ahead and hem this and the shorts, you can go ahead and do so, or you can do um, add the elastic at the shorts if you want to. I'm just, like I said, pulling this basting stitch off, um, and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, so you never miss out on any of our tutorials. Um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below, um, so you can see what everybody's making and you can be inspired by their makes. But also, we want you to come share uh, your makes with us, so that way we can be inspired by your makes. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and, I know I wanted to show you one last time before I go because I am talking but looking at my swimsuit. Um, and I, they're done. Okay. And almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Wait for it. Wait for it. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.